today. In the beginner class, we will talk about love or hate. Love or hate. Suki, kirai. Suki, kirai. Suki, kirai. Suki. To like, kirai. To dislike. And we will need to learn the particle ga. Ga. Right. Well, last time, which is a bit long, long time ago, so I hope you remember when we talk about birthdays and dates. Um, how do we say when's your birthday? We started with this basic structure, the grammar structure we have learned, blah, 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 this. And ka was uh, an indicator of the question, right? And then we made this sentence. How many are there in your family? Uh, how do we make the sentence? When's your birthday? So uh, blah, 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 this plus ka as a uh, question. There's the same structure. You replace words. So before wa, this wa, uh, grammatically, it's called a particle. This wa indicates that the um, the word uh, followed by wa means um, the uh, the functions as a topic, not necessarily subject, but the topic you want to talk about in the sentence. So when it comes to family, where are there? How many are there? When it comes to birthday, when is it? And this kind of um, uh, structure we have the the way of thinking in Japanese so you replace birthday with kazoku and nani how many with when so when you want to say when's your birthday in Japanese uh, tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka in a normal speed right um so just to refresh your memory the basic structure of Japanese grammar this one, wa, blah, blah, this, and ka as the yeah, at the end of sentence, which is a question. So here today, we will talk about like or dislike. Do you like your family? Or when it comes to your family, do you like it? Uh, so what do we do? Family in Japanese and to like and likable in Japanese. You put these words into this structure. Family, kazoku, eh, suki, suki. Here you can be, uh, you can translate it as to like or likable. Well, grammatically, suki is officially suki na, as in appears uh, in the dictionary. Suki na, which is as an adjective in Japanese. But in this context, uh, grammatically, uh, no way. Grammatically, that's an adjective in Japanese, but it functions as an English verb. So it's confusing, but well, that's the grammatical explanation. So you can just cover this part and you can <laughs> you can see as, okay, that's how you say. That's how you say, fine, fine. So do you like your family? Kazoku wa suki desu ka? Right. You can just focus on that. How do we say, do you like Japan? Well, the same structure. Blah, 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 suki desu ka? So you replace instead of family, kazoku, <clears throat> Japan in Japanese. How do we say Japan in Japanese? That's Nihon. Nihon wa suki desu ka? Do you like Japan? Well, suki, when you uh, really want to know a uh, grammatical explanation, and suki, you, know, you can translate as to like or likable, to be likable. So grammatically maybe you can say as for japan when it comes to japan regarding japan do you like it is it likable but i mean when you translate normally you say do you like japan well japanese grammar looks like this but that's how we say well um that was actually a bit simple when you don't need to think about logical explanation you say just you know the same structure you say suki desu ka suki nihon wa suki desu ka but when you answer when you state oh i like japan japan nihon to like likable suki but here you have to notice that there is a different particle we only knew wa here you see ga what well, Nihon ga suki desu. Nihon ga suki desu. Um, translation will be, among, among other countries, I like Japan. So, um, if you want to explain totally, grammatically, 
<laughs> you can specify like among other countries and blah 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 to choose to use ga but easiest way is when we talk about something you like your favorite thing to talk about you just always followed by ga nihon ga suki desu so it's wrong to say nihon wa suki desu in this context nihon ga suki desu well briefly you can look at these two different particles as topic marker or subject marker and the other um, functions as well when we use ga Uh, it's in always in question form or to emphasize something or when we use what that means um, the words before what is a topic uh, or when you contrast when you use a contrast with the other words we use what we're just you know briefly talking about the difference but well here you can just focus on when we talk about suki we use ga That's it. Fine. How about um, when you don't like something? Don't like something. Uh, you know, janai desu. You have learned janai desu, which is not. So, blah, 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 this. And negative, blah, 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 janai desu. Genki desu, genki janai desu, right? So, that can be also applied here. I don't like kanji, for example. If you don't like kanji, how do we say this? Kanji in Japanese, kanji. Well, here, well, look at this. We have wa, or、oh, that's confusing. Usually we say wa. You could explain it as that the, okay, as we talk about the contrast, maybe. Well,、um, I like many other things, but、mm, as a contrast, I don't really like kanji. So grammatically, you can explain this, but okay, again, it's the easiest. Okay, that's how we say it. When we talk about, okay, I don't like something, kanji wa suki ja nai desu. When you want to say, I dislike something, I dislike something, and then we get back to da. Oh, that's confusing. <laughs> well, kanji ga kirai desu. Or again, when we talk about suki or kirai, like or dislike, we use ga. When it was negative, oh, I don't like it. And then, blah, 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 kirai,、uh, was suki ja nai desu. But here, when we talk about kirai, We get back to ga. So we want to say, I, like, I dislike kanji. Kanji ga kirai desu. Well, you won't be wrong to say kanji wa kirai desu, but it means you have mentioned some other things that you like. And ah, when it comes to kanji, no, I don't like it. And then you say kanji wa kirai desu. So it depends on context.、Uh, how do we say? Uh, I like something very much, very much. Or you could say, I love something. To love something, for example, if you love Japan, I love Japan,、um, instead of suki desu. Have you heard of this? Well, Japan is nihon, a particle we use ga again. Very likable. Daisuki. Daisuki desu. Well, literally, it means big. I even used kanji for that because it's very simple and will be good to know. So I put it in kanji with hurigana, the hiragana helper. Nihon ga daisuki desu. That means I love Japan. I, lo- I like Japan very much. It's the same. But the、uh, daisuki desu, huge like. Huge like. <laughs> huge like. Nihon ga daisuki desu. Right, again, so suki, it, it, we talk about suki, so we use ga in this context. So I like, I love Japan in Japanese, nihon ga daisuki desu. How about the opposite? I hate, I hate something. Hate. Well, not like was suki ja nai desu, but I hate something. I hate kanji, for example.、Eh, Dislike was kirai or unlikable or very unlikable. Well, again, same, same concept. Dai kirai, a huge dislike. Say, if you hate something, you can say kanji ga kirai. Dai kirai desu. Something. You mentioned something as a topic.、Uh, for example, natto, maybe. The slimy beans. Natto ga dai kirai desu. 
or whatever, Dorian or something, like whatever you just, just like hate. So this is very strong to say. So I hate something. Kanji ga dai kirai desu. That's also practical, I think. I mean, practical. <laughs> well, how about when you, you know, neither like or dislike it? Or you want to say, ah, oh, it's, it's okay, it's so so. How do we say this? Well, easiest way is mama. Mama this. Mama this. Well, either you can write with big a or a small a, it's the same. Mama, just long vowel. Mama this. That's so so. Okay. But if you want to sound fluent or if you like, Tongue twister. <laughs> you can also say, suki demo kirai demo nai desu. Literally, neither like or dislike it. Suki demo, neither here. Kirai, dislike, demo nai, neither des. If you can't remember this, you say, mama des. If you do remember this and if you want to try the uh, fluent Japanese, advanced Japanese, you can say, suki demo kirai demo nai desu. Because we say this. Anyway, uh, in the question, how do we uh, make a sentence in Japanese? How, what do you like? What do you like? Uh, again, uh, we looked at the other differences between wa and ga. So here, ga is used in question form. So what do you like? Who do you like? Which one do you like? Where do you like? This question, mm, we use Definitely, ga, ga, uh, and then what in Japanese? What was it? Nani? So nani ga suki desu ka? Well, um, when you say what time or which day or um, mm, mm, what age and stuff, we this nani becomes nan. For example, what time is it? Nanji? How old are you? Nan sai. But here. Literally, nani, nani. What, like, do you like what? So this structure, so you put nani. Nani ga suki desu ka? When, when it's combined with uh, the other, uh, what is it called? Words, uh, what, what time is it? Like how old and stuff? We use nan. But here, nani ga suki desu ka? What do you like? Nani ga suki desu ka? Nani ga suki desu ka? The same structure, blah, blah, uh, wa or ga. And this and question cut. So the structure the same, so just some more variation. Uh, the last one, more specific question. What kind of blah blah do you like? That was what do you like in a very broad, wide question. But you can be specific. What kind of mm -hmm, do you like? Uh, what kind of donna donna. And here I put anime. So, donna anime ga suki desu ka? Donna anime ga suki desu ka? That would be what kind of anime do you like? So you can be more specific in the question. Well, before it, uh, before it becomes too much, let's finish up here. That's <laughs> all for this time. Thank you for watching. Otsukare sama deshita. If you want to practice Japanese with us and meet your new classmates, you're more than welcome to join us. Okaeri school.